What is up, guys? It is Russ here, Poké Russ here, and we are back for another, another Dragon Ball Super video and another Deck Tech Tuesday. Deck Tech Tuesday is a series where I come up with decks, or you guys submit decks with all credit going to you, of course. Where we go over these decks, go over their strategies, all the all the cool things they do, and show off some maybe maybe not even some super competitive, but some super fun builds, some competitive builds, whatever you guys are looking for. This is your one-stop shop for anything Dragon Ball Super TCG related, not to mention other Dragon Ball series, Blast from the Past, pack openings, all that kind of stuff. But let's get into the deck profile because you're seeing Goku and you're like, uh, haven't we seen this before? I mean, I mean different color sleeves, but what we got today is a fat deck for you. A big fat deck. We got Majin Buu. Majin Buu deck. Let's get it. Okay, so let's start off with the leader. We've seen this leader before in previous deck profiles. Um, this is Sun Goku, and obviously if you're facing Buu, you have to go Super Saiyan 3. But, uh, you can only have 6 mana, normal, uh, for him. Uh, you can only have 6 mana, place 1 card in your hand drop area, and then if you have no energy, place 2 cards from your life. Uh, and add them to your energy. So that's pretty neat, pretty awesome. Um, interestingly enough, you can place one card in, if you need to. I wouldn't suggest it. Uh, if you're unawakened and you, you need to um, start fueling some stuff, you can use that effect, and if, even if you don't have two or no energy, you can just discard a card. I wouldn't suggest it, but it's a fun fact. When you have four less life, flip this card over and go a level beyond into hyper heightened evolution super saiyan 3 sun goku you only have six energy and at the end of your turn untap three energy and switch them to active mode uh and when this card attacks draw one card so pretty standard leader pretty awesome big blue is here and he is ready for this majin buu deck so this is a is this mono blue uh it's mono blue ish mono blue ish Okay, so this is a deck created by uh, one of my teammates. He's pretty freaking awesome. Uh, shout out to you, Nate, and um, he loves Majin Buu. And uh, I saw in the comment section a couple of you guys like also like Majin Buu, so I figured this would be a fun deck profile to bring you guys. So we're we're going all the way up from Fat Buu to Kid Buu. Let's get into it. So first, we're starting off with for the big jolly green guy himself, Majin Buu. Energy boost, just pretty standard zero. Draw one card really doesn't work with any of the other boos in the deck. Actually, am I lying? Am I lying? I think I'm lying. Oh, I, I am lying. He doesn't. He doesn't work with any of the boos in the deck. <laughs> so he's just Majin Buu. He's blue. He draws draws one card, but he's thematic and amazing, and you're gonna use him anyway. So next we have the Supreme Kai engine. So we have one, two, three. Universal Leader Grand Supreme Kai. Uh, when you play this card, choose one battle card other than other than Grand Supreme Kai, but has the card named Supreme Kai from your deck and add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. For some reason, I don't know why they decided to word it like this, it seems confusing, but you describe a Supreme Kai that's not him. I know it, it leaves it open for future sets, but it's just really worded weird. <laughs> like, it just has so many extra words than it needs to, but he grabs, we have two other Supreme Kais in the deck, and one of them is... Majin Defire uh, Western Supreme guy. She has barrier and then you can use this uh, to pay an energy cost even when it's in your battle area. So interestingly enough, with Super Saiyan 3 Goku, you're limited to the number of energy you can have. This pushes it a level beyond. You can um, obviously use it beforehand just to boost. It's like a better version of um, Objection. And that you can, you can literally drop this on your first turn because with mo mono blue, there's four cards, eight cards in this deck that aren't blue, so you're probably gonna hit blue. So you can play this, start ramping up your energy. This gives you four energy on your turn two, which is absolutely insane. So it's part of the it's part of the engine. If you didn't grab it off this, obviously if you're grabbing it off this, you're gonna have to wait a turn anyway. But boom. Next is the main one main probably the main one you're, you're going to be searching out if you don't have it already um majin to fire south supreme kai so it is critical and when this card attacks choose one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of three or less and return it to the owner's hand cool but not super important uh but it also has critical which is super amazing um but it does get rid of some of those lower smaller guys that they might want to evolve um you don't want to bounce back obviously like a draw drop like trunks or goku or 
uh, energy boost, margin boost, somebody that's something that they can get instant advantage off or playing for free again. Uh, but if they have a combo piece that they kind of need, like, I don't know, this effect can be useful. I won't, I won't rule out that this effect's useful. So this is the important Supreme Kai because we're running uh, this guy. Four of this guy. This is Power Absorb Majin Boost. So this is why the deck kind of splits. The deck can kind of go two different ways at this point. It can go the way of the South Kai, or it can go the way of the Grand Supreme Kai. Oops, there it is. So you can either uh, absorb this guy into him and uh, evolve two energy, two blue energy plus two energy with South Kai. This guy has dual attack and active. Once per turn, choose one South Supreme Kai card under this and gains all of the skills till the end phase. So it gains that cool auto. Again, maybe useful, maybe not. But importantly, it gains critical with dual attack. So you have a dual attack, critical 2500 tw power, beauty. So as you go through the Majin Buu, you're going to see a lot of these 110,000s. That's a, that's a big, big reason why we're running this is because um, it kind of mitigates that issue. Plus, it allows you to ramp up super quickly without having the inconsistencies and the hand advantage of um, objection. But the other way you can go is into this old guy. Oops. This old guy. So we got another fat boo here. Uh, evolve two and two, or two blue, two anything off Grand Supreme Kai. It has double strike and... With, if this card leaves the battle area, when there is any Grand Supreme Kai placed or under this card, uh, place all the cards under this card to the drop area instead. So this has a free, basically, basically one free barrier. One free barrier. If you try to blow it up, if you try to bounce back to hand, nope. You just ditch this and call it a day. Call it a day. So this this gives you options for your turn four-ish play. You can either go in from this, you can either go into this, or you can go into this. So next, um, with both of these, you use that to go into the Ultimate Evil Majin Buu. So both of these can go into the Ultimate Evil. This is an EX Evolution, one blue, place two cards from your hand into the drop area, Majin Buu with an energy cost of five or more. Both of these are obviously Majin Buu's. Um, it gets Triple Strike, and when this card evolves, switch it to Active Mode. And it gains 3,000 power for the duration of the turn. What? What? This is your game ender, obviously. So, we either have dual attack critical doing its thing, or you have this guy double striking. Either way, you attack with these guys, you and then, boom, drop this, switches back to active mode, triple strikes, and it's a 60,000. So, if they don't negate it, they have to combo up to straight 60,000. Straight 60,000. That's absolutely crazy. Okay. That's enough, that's enough of that craziness. Okay, so. Um, there's also another Majin Buu in the deck. We're not done with all these Boos, but obviously you see your big game ender, the ultimate evil Majin Buu. We have Majin Buu, out of control evil Majin Buu. We're playing four of this. So this is Union Absorb. Uh, place one battle card from your hand under this card. Choose one blue Majin Buu with energy cost of five or more from your deck and place it on top. So this is another way, this is actually a third way, to get these guys out. Where's the, where's the fat guy? To get these guys out, to get this guy out. So this is all, all of these ways are to get this one single card out and go home punching your way furiously. Um, this, this, it's a super fun deck and it's, oh, it, they're just... Everything works to, like, everything, it splits off, but then it splits back into its original goal, so, like, there's no, like, like, with Cell Chain, there's only one way to go up, so, like, if, you, if you're missing a piece or whatever, you're kind of boned, but this way it can go, and it all ends up making this evil, this evil. So, there's another way to get out this guy, this little guy. There is Bobbity. Magician's Father Bobbity. First, all of your Majin Buu's in your battle area gain barrier. So, what? What? Okay. So, first, barrier. So, it can't be touched by choosing. Triple strike. Fat. What? Double strike. Like, double strike, foe indestructible, barrier. 
and dual strike critical barrier absolutely insane so this guy also when he summoned choose one of out of out of a one out of control evil majin buu from your deck and play it then shuffle your deck so that automatically plays this which links into this which goes into this which goes into this big guy and boom you just went absolutely ham so you're, uh, you're running four of this, sorry. You're running four uh, of the Magician's Father of Majin Buu. I'm just, I'm just so excited to talk about this and how like crazy and fun this is. Okay, so that's that's the core of the deck. That's obviously the Majin Buu is what you're doing going crazy and insanity. Um, you're playing the Kabito Kai because obviously if, you're, if your opponent's forced into uh trying to combo out this makes all the difference you're probably like when you're when you're trying to finish games with the, with the majin buu you might not you might not get his second effect off to draw but you're bouncing a critical piece in hitting that sixty thousand, and this pushes for games obviously um next you have combo coup this is becoming easily one of my favorite cards in the new set it just has so many, like, it's so good. It's use useful in this deck. It's useful in the uh, blue-green Just Sand deck. It's useful in Trunks. It's useful in literally anything you put it in, just because it's a 110. Anything with this guy. This guy's absolutely insane with this guy, because this that, that 110 isn't even a thing anymore. You can play three of these, and it's it's just like having four more of these. Like, it's, it's, it's beautiful. And then we're also playing the No Opening Sun Goku. We're playing three of those. During your turn, at the end of the battle in which you comboed with this card, if your leader is yellow, play this card in rest mode. That doesn't matter, obviously. We don't have a yellow leader, so we're not playing this in rest mode. Cool ability, yes. But this is the more important thing. It's phrased like Mecha Frieza and all those other cards. Then, which is a separate sentence, choose one card in your life and add to your hand. So this is this is this deck's version of self-awakening. Obviously, you have the two there. But if you're comboing with these guys, you're self-awakening. If your opponent isn't pushing for those things, you th this meta you have to you you really have to self-awaken. Every deck needs some sort of self-awakening because your opponent's not going to push through. Next, we have two uh, Piccolo the Strategist, cool new promo card. Piccolo actually getting some love, which I absolutely love. Critical Barrier again, deadly combo between the two. Critical Barrier and activate activate main. Choose one. Of your opponent's battle cards and energy cost less to, than your energy and KO it. So this card says if you go first, you're you have more energy than your opponent all the time. If you go second, you are on par with your your opponent on energy all the time. Therefore, this always kills what they just summoned. Basically, this keeps curve. This kills curve and breaks curve, which is absolutely insane. And you obviously negate the skill for the rest of the game. Boom. So that kills Curve, that's just awesome. He does that, he has Critical Barrier, absolutely insane. You're running two Courageous Heart Yashirobis, because you might need to stall just a little bit to get your Majin Buu set off. Um, so you might need that blocker with Obvious Revenge. Um, just because, you're, with with the limitations of the six mana and everything that's happening, like you might have to wait a turn to go all hammy. And this just buys you that extra turn, plus it has Revenge, so it can kind of just kill something if it needs to. And then obviously, or pretty much obviously, but you're running four Sensu Beans. Four Sensu Beans pretty much says you get extra mana, and you get to do all your fun crazy stuff. So you can combo like if you're just short, if you if you're just short mana from going into this guy, you attack. Or like you have one mana left, you do this Sensu Bean, boom, boom, boom. This turns the three mana you get at the end of turn into four mana, and it's just insane. Uh, this these two cards are so 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 good together absolutely insane but that's the Majin Buu deck um, this deck was literally a lot more fun to, to like deck tech around with and stuff like that it's a fun deck to play with I, I even uh, and it was just a fun deck to review and all that kind of stuff because it just does so much stuff and it's really thematic and does does all these crazy things I actually don't remember these episodes where they introduced the, the Kai's and all that so I'm gonna have to go back and watch some Dragon Ball which makes me even happier and I hope you guys like this deck if you guys have any any questions about the deck, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. If you guys want to submit your own decks, make sure to send them to either link them in the, or leave them in the comment section down below, or send them over to my email address at PokeRustSubs, it should be on the screen or in the description, PokeRustSubs 
at gmail.com. That's where I take submissions for either Deck Tech Tuesday or Mixed Armor Showcase. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. We're going to have some more pack openings probably within the next week. Um, maybe another Blast in the Past opening. If you didn't check that out, I opened up some Panani Dragon Ball this past weekend. Check that out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Poke Russ out. Peace.